What's up everybody? So today we're going to be going over how we can install a hook in our wall so that we have a place at home so we can do some uchikomis and get a great workout in. So the product we're going to be installing today is going to be right here. I picked it up at Home Depot. It's like three bucks and I prefer it over a standard hook that you're going to screw right into the wall. Okay, the ring gives you a little bit more diversity. You can hook more ropes to it or more bands. Um, so let's go over how we can install it. For the next step, you're going to want to open up uh, the package and get a Sharpie to mark your spot. Now, everybody's going to have a different place on their wall they're going to want to mark it. For me, I'm fortunate that I was able to end my wall pad here on my mats in my home gym where I'm on a corner piece here. And I know that on this corner, there's going to be a stud. Now, everybody in their home has different types of studs. Some have metal, some have wood. If you have a metal stud, you're not going to be able to use the screws that they gave you. You're going to want to go to Home Depot or head back there and get a self-drilling uh, screw that will go straight through the metal. But let's take a look here at how we want to measure this and the height we want to measure it at. Uh, for a standard person okay, that's looking to do um, uchikomis on their bands, you're going to want to go right at your belly button so that the weight that's pulling up from the uchikomi band or the rubber tubing or whatever it is you have is going from the center mass. Okay, so I'm basically going to stand here at the wall and I'm going to hold it right about my belly button right here on the end of the wall. And then we're going to take our Sharpie and we're just going to kind of make a couple of notches here, flip this over, make another one on this side. And now I know where to put my pilot holes. Essentially what you want to do is you want to find a drill bit that is going to be slightly smaller than your screw here. Um, you just kind of want to gauge it out. You know, you don't have to do anything. Normally if you have a box of screws, the, this particular one didn't come with it, but it'll give you an actual screw size and dimension and you can match your drill bit up to that to get a perfect match. We're not really looking for perfection here, so we're just going to kind of use our best judgment. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go straight through into the stud and we're just going to give it a little bit of a depth here. And just kind of work our way in, work our way in again and just work through, through the wood. And then for this one here on the inside, I'm actually going to go a little bit at an angle because I understand that the stud's not going to be too deep. So we're going to go a little bit of an angle here. just to work into the stud. Okay, I wanna make sure I don't miss it. Okay, and then we have our four holes. So now that we have our pilot holes drilled, what we have to do is we have to put the screws through. It's important to make sure that you have the right bit head here for your screw, and you just kinda of wanna make sure it matches up, and you're not getting any rattle or any shake to make sure you don't strip the screw. So what we're gonna to do to start, is we're basically just going to put one in okay doesn't matter which side you start with here we're just going to start with it all the way through this is going to help you keep the bit here attached to the screw head and we're just going to hold it up in place and then start to put it in you want to put it in a little loose that way i can have some play here with it and i have a magnet here on my drill so I have my other pieces relatively close. And then we're just going to kind of work our way in and make sure we're just going to flip that around so it's out of the way. Remember, these ones went in at an angle, which is okay. And then we're just going to put it in a little bit more. There we go. There we go. And now we have this attached to the wall. So now that we have this firmly attached to the wall, we're just going to give it a little test run. Okay. I just want to kind of grab it and give it just a little bit of a nudge. Make sure there's no wiggle here. It's just the ring that's at play. Now we're ready to attach the band and start working out. So I have my band here. Okay. Your band might be a little bit different. Find this middle bit right here, and then they're going to throw it through the loop and then they're gonna pass it through. And what it does is it creates a good lock here on the hook so that you can start pulling from that end, okay? And then it ensures that your two 
strands stay at the same length. So here's a bonus tip for everybody that's looking to set up an uchikomi area in their house, okay? And you have a band to work with. You'll notice that there was something on my band that you probably have overlooked, okay? And it's this little knot here at the end and it's tied in a very specific way. My uchikomi band is also specifically meant for this where it's flat and I have the knot here at the end. The reason for that knot is because as I'm working out, the, it can slip out of my hand. So what I do is I practice a good judo style grip on the sleeve and collar, which is with the bottom three fingers and the rest of my hand and my arm is loose. Okay, that's gonna help you create that snap in all of your throws. And what we wanna do is we wanna use the natural bend here to hook around the hand so that I get a good solid grip where you can see my hand is open, but no matter how hard I pull, even if I relax here, right, it's still stuck, okay? And it's gonna help you develop your judo and stay loose as you're doing uchikomis with the band. The other benefit to having this is as you start to sweat, especially if you're cutting weight and it's running out of your sauna suit, okay, that band is gonna get really hard to hold on to. And this little nub here at the end will work kind of like a baseball bat where it'll sit and catch and you can relax your grip and then speed up your throws. Well, I hope all of you found that super helpful and informative. And if you're able to watch this video and install an Uchikomi band, or you've already installed an Uchikomi band in your house, shoot me a comment in the section below, send me a photo, join my YouTube community. I'd love to hear from you and see how you guys installed an Uchikomi workout area in your own homes. And if you found this video helpful or insightful, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell icon because I release a video every day of the week, Monday through Friday, to my YouTube channel to help the community grow and learn.